Welcome one, welcome all to the first Campus Jobs podcast. My name's Caitlin and here with me today is my friend slash colleague Sadie. Hello. Sadie, would you like to introduce what Campus Jobs is to the listeners? Of course I can. So Campus Jobs is a service that's provided by the university for the university students with the aim of helping everybody to find work that fits nicely around their studies. Short and sweet. Yeah. Um, (laughs) So a lot of you actually might be wondering why we're sat here talking to this tiny microphone. Um, As fourth year students, both with flexible jobs on campus, uh, we've both done a placement, we thought who better to give you the need to know guide on how to survive university with some helpful career tips along the way. Um, So throughout the podcast series, we'll be discussing topics like how to feed your housemates for under a tenner, side hustles whilst you're studying, and then um, we'll also provide you with some career tips that we think you could benefit from Mm -hmm. based off of our experience. Uh, So yeah, the first, this podcast, the first topic we're going to discuss is actually DIY Halloween costumes. What with Halloween being right around the corner. So, uh, Sadie, would you you actually like to talk about the first costume? Okay, well. Oh, I should add that we didn't actually, as creative as we are, we didn't come up with these outfits. We have found them on the amazing World Wide Web. So before you think that we're all, you know, fantastic and we should give up our degrees. We're not plagiarising here. Exactly. So, with that being said. (laughs) Okay, I'll kick us off. Go, go. So, you might think we might start this a bit uh, light-hearted. No, no, we're going in with the hard stuff. So the first one is called Fifty Shades of Grey. Some of you may have watched this film and think that we're going down a slightly dark alleyway here, but no, 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 we're thinking more for the crafty among us. So for this one, what what we need you to do is we need you to go to home base or maybe Wix. some sort of hardware store some basically. sort of hardware store the nearest one to you i think what have we got in i think we've got our home base in reading mm. um there's a and q in a few places there's a b and q not in reading i'm just thinking generally in the uk <laughs> <laughs> so um you want to go in and what they kindly provide in those shops are paint samples the little pieces of card that you'll pick up when you want to see what color the wall's going to be kind of thing so Unfortunately, they don't actually tell you how many one person is allowed. So this is where unfortunately the, or fortunately, fortunately for students, this <laughs> is where the free student life comes in. You need to take loads. We're talking fifty. You know, keep yeah. it apt. Um, and essentially, what you need to do then is get is it a black t-shirt i think it is isn't it or a plain or, t-shirt why not curveball gray, t-shirt. gray yeah. oh yeah that's true add another one in there exactly that could be one of your shades then you don't need to get 49 sw- that's swatches. so clever yeah on the spot here so then you want to just get <laughs> tape or maybe a stapler to be honest depends okay quick disclaimer ladies and gentlemen and um general people of the public whilst you're using what would you call them I was sharp going to say instruments items. then. Yeah, there we go. Sharp Things items. Things that could cause you to And uh, Yeah, I would just be careful. Uh, make sure you read any instructions before yeah. you start doing anything. We yeah. don't want to be sued. No, so just get that in there as well. <laughs> get it in nice and early. <laughs> so yeah, staple them. Maybe get your friend to help you if you're clueless with the stapler. Um, and you could always try glue, but I'm not sure glue. how long mm. it would stay on the top. Yeah, we're talking instant ideas here. So maybe maybe a stapler might do the trick. We've all got one that we will use once a year. So that's our first <laughs> that's our first suggestion. If you're feeling like you want to be the witty one, I mean these are all a little bit witty, but you yeah, know. we tried. Yeah. Um, next. So the next one is for the more Halloween orientated. The traditional individuals, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> it's a bat costume, basically. <laughs> Yay! Um, what you want to do for this, right, is take an old black umbrella, cut it in half, and then staple, like, staple the the edges of it to the underside of your jumper or t-shirt so that when you open when you go to open your arms you have a bat wing yeah yeah so again maybe you should go down to primark or some kind of cheap shop and get like a t-shirt that you don't mind stapling yes exactly but then um so although they're like 
what's the word main feature yeah those yeah. Are the although the main feature of this outfit is the wings the eye catcher let's be fair they're that's pretty cool pretty I think. cool i think so you could accentuate the outfit more by possibly making like um some ears mm -hmm. like literally tape Felt. no like yeah tape some paper ears to mm -hmm. a headband mm -hmm. you're a bat yeah <laughs> go fly <laughs> no, like don't actually try and fly but you know <laughs> so next we're taking a little bit of a turn somewhere somewhere unexpected along this halloween journey and we're thinking of a couple's outfit we like to think outside the box on this one and you know we don't always want to go by ourselves sometimes you like going with your best friend maybe with your boyfriend or girlfriend significant, significant other, other um and that's someone special that's someone special that you want to be attached to all night <laughs> maybe in the middle of a sweaty club so what you want to do here is you want to grab a piece of cardboard it was a box wasn't it yeah you want a so box. yeah Go on. so you take a box cardboard box cut out one of the one of the sides so you've got three sides to your cardboard box and then the two so you've got like your main front one and yeah. then the two sides cut them in half as well so that it just gives you a bit more like a car room shape. in the box yeah so what you've got is one one full front side yeah. and then two like wings if you will yeah. um <laughs> yeah so that's that's your car shape and then you want to get some paint i would go for yellow because that's like a universal taxi color but yeah. if you're from london maybe you want to go like black cabs you know do you know, yeah it's whatever it's it's We're your outfit you make taxis. it your own yeah but i would go for like a bright yellow paint the box and then get some tin foil and use that to make like the screen and the the little headlights yeah and then you want to get yourself some like some straps basically uh to go around your neck and attach to the box so that it's a hands-free outfit and you can literally walk around together with a car and then one of you has to pretend to be um it's kind of like a spin on james corden's carpool karaoke yeah. so one of you could pretend to be james corden and the other one could pretend to be some sort of artist carry a mic wear some sunglasses that's it yeah i just realized i don't know if i actually said it was carpool karaoke when i first went into this one so oh, well there would be yeah. a lot of guesswork until the end there but we got there. <laughs> we got there in the end yeah um that's that's one for the uh couples Oh yeah, so I'm not gonna lie, guys, I do like a DIY Halloween costume. Last year I lived with, I lived in a house with three other girls and we decided to go as, because there was four of us, playing cards and we decided to go as one of each suit. So we went into the same card, but like of, so one of hearts, one of diamonds, one of spades, one of clubs. I was literally in my head, I was like, um, what the fuck? <laughs> and would you, we basically got like this white, top from primark red and black marker pens and then just drew on the tops that literally good. cost no more than three pound and we had and then we like ripped them a bit to make them halloween-esque oh and then we scary. had our yeah like we were like broken playing cards. <laughs> and then um Who and then we had our it? halloween outfit and it was a group one and it was really like i really liked it yeah uh so a bit of like following on from that one of the outfits that we've seen that we quite like is entitled the queen of hearts so for this one basically you just want to wear red be that a dress trousers and a top like anything that you want as long as it's a nice bright red kind of color and then take a piece of paper and wrap it around your neck just so that you can get the size of your neck um <laughs> because <laughs> like people People have different people size have different necks. Size neck. Yeah, they do, they do. <laughs> um, yeah, so with this piece of paper then, you just want to staple playing cards onto, because that's, it kind of acts as like a collar. Um, so staple playing cards onto this piece of paper and then put it back around your neck. And if you wanted to like go that extra mile, because it is essentially queen of hearts, wear a crown. You're going to be winning awards with this one. People are going to be like clapping as you walk mm. through. Do you know what I mean? Like this do you know, person. Do you, do you know that rhyme? That um, I think it was on, it, mu it must have been like a kid's rhyme or it was like from a book or something. What was it? it was about the Queen of Hearts. Go on. So it goes, the Queen of Hearts, she made some tarts and called them jammy dodgers. <laughs> Did you know that? Did you know it and you just no. got me to say it? I've never heard that before in my life. <laughs> Have you not heard that? We've all learned something new today. Well, there we go. So become the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> That's yeah. uh, 
We love a queen. Yeah, that's that's that outfit. Would you like to go for the next one? Would you next like to one. explain the next one? So this one is a bit of a take. Might be a bit apt for those who have um, maybe just hit a deadline, not done as well as they'd like, and want to really show, express how they're they feeling. They want to turn that, that positive into a negative. No, other way, other way around. around. They, they want to turn that negative, the negative into, into a, a positive. positive. So we've called this one life lemons <laughs> we all know the classic line when life gives you lemons i think both of us know that one very well over the last few years of being at university what do you, do? you um, make lemonade oh, I think about that for a second you do make <laughs> lemonade um so for this one as you can guess there are some lemons involved get down to your local supermarket and pick them up nice and cheap nice Don't bag go for... of lemons yeah 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 this is one this idea is for like the people who don't want to put too much effort into their outfit or maybe they don't have enough time they just, just want, want to a quick, bit, show simple. their sense of humor yeah. <laughs> um so you'll literally just need a white shirt um and with black pen or adhesive letters you want to write the word life l-i-f-e l-i-f-e and then you want to just hold your bag of lemons if you really want you could attach them to you but that might be a bit uncomfortable and also i feel like that might like drag your whatever you've attached them to i feel like lemons would be yeah, quite heavy so it might just drag true. down unless you attach them to your trousers yeah, but it would depend. have what, what if it dragged down your hook trousers them on, hook them on that's true yeah. <laughs> we don't want to be setting you up for a bit of humiliation so <laughs> with these lemons what you can then just hold do, your lemons okay you can be the the prize giver of the evening and deliver these lemons to any friend that might need that little bit of um a boost also great for tequila shots so yeah you yeah. can be the provider of the night with that one with an added sense what of what food wit. has lemon in it if anybody wants to make a cake yeah gin and tonic you'd be the person to go to yeah i think yeah that pretty much sums that one up okay well i'd like to talk about the next one and you know why i would like to talk about the next one because your favorite i am this is my favorite outfit purely because i am a cinema goer i'm a cinema connoisseur every birthday fiend a fiend mm, possibly every birthday every christmas my parents get me a cinema sometimes my friends even i get like m multiple ones some years oh, i'm like I know wow. you that people really do know me <laughs> i'm a bit of an oversharer but um <laughs> yeah so i get a cinema voucher because everybody knows that i like to go to the cinema so this one yeah. is inspired by the cinema aptly titled the cinema floor sounds a bit disgusting but just stay with me so what you want to do is dress all in black a bit like a ninja um and then treat yourself okay go to wherever you're picking up your lemons possibly buy <laughs> some uh, some sweets some little packets of popcorn i don't know what um you guys like to do but i'm also quite sentimental so when i go to the cinema sometimes <laughs> more often than not i like to keep the cinema tickets i don't know you, you just... own it own it yeah <laughs> it's um yeah it's literally just like from the memories like oh like oh um like if someone comes to visit and then i'm like oh what did we do we went to the cinema, went that was to the really cinema. do you do anything so... with them normally or do you just store them like do you haul oh them? no like um so living in uni for the past couple of years yeah. i've got like classic uni item for a room pin board and then it's like oh, what do you put in pin boards i've got some photos yeah. okay. got some line yards of things okay. wristbands but then also cinema tickets so you've I got feel. quite the collection yeah okay yeah so anyway what i would do um with my cinema tickets i'd keep those as well and then what you want to do is either glue or again our favorite item seems to be the stapler the in stapler, this yeah. podcast our friendly stapler staple these so once you've eaten the sweets and ke and kept the, cin the, the cinema the cinema kept the sweet wrappers exactly and then eaten the popcorn out of the packets and kept the packets you want to staple everything to your t-shirt and you literally embody that cinema floor yeah did you say similar floor to start off with yes i did oh you did you did i, you I did, did. Me. i was gonna <laughs> say i thought we were building up to that moment for a second are we what, done what what like the cinema the floor reveal? yeah the big reveal. I put it in and there. you will be a cinema floor yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a dirty one mind a clean one we want to we don't want to represent the dirty cinema floor do you know how the odeon's quite dirty? 
The OGs, every and time I go to the cinema. They are a dirty cinema floor. They've got like, they've oh, got like s- they empty are. sweet packets and cinema tickets oh, and yeah, all on sorry, them. Oh yeah, sorry, I completely If they were going as a clean cinema, so, uh, so cinema? They were... if they were going, that doesn't exist. <laughs> if they were going as a clean cinema floor, they might as well just wear all black. <laughs> That's true, in which case, there's no point going. I mean, you can do either, but I know which one I would prefer. <laughs> Okay, so moving on, we've got someone, someone, <laughs> uh, something which might be apt for those in their final year, maybe want to ch- uh, channel that graduate vibe a bit early. Um, we've called bit it a bit of a like teaser for what's a teaser to for come. what's to come. Yeah, we like that positive manifestation. <laughs> we've called it the smart cookie. So uh, for this one, essentially, what it is that you are going to need is a fake gown. Don't. Please don't take a real gown or find a real gown because I think yeah. that might that might then make it a bit anticlimactic when the big day arrives. I don't know if you can tell, but our premise with these DIY Halloween outfits is that they're not costly. They're not costly. <laughs> so maybe get on Amazon, do your uh, next day delivery and get like a cheap, or not even that, you could probably be inventive and just get a sheet or something and make a <laughs> gown out of it. See, now that might look like a, a ghost. ghost cookie. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh my God, if the cookie monster was a ghost oh I but anyway know. we digress we digress so with this one we want to find a gown and then we want to find you want to get printouts of a cookie and simply we're stapling again i think attach them to Do you know the what, gown. what could work for these like most of these Go on. outfits because we're stapling and sticking everywhere yeah uh you know like double-sided tape but like quite thick true yeah maybe yeah i mean whatever works whatever yeah. sticks it whatever down whatever option gets is the best job done. for you so yeah so this one basically is send a nice picture to your family members mm. say you know be like, i am just the a, achievement i am an achiever just a photo for nan and gran before they get the real one <laughs> yeah exactly like become that person you want to be um and that pretty much sums this one up so if you want to move on to the done and dusted so the final outfit of our diy halloween costumes podcast is another group outfit um okay so this one is basically inspired by this one you do like this one um i should add as well that we will make a couple of these outfits that we are discussing so that along with this podcast you can also have visual representations of myself and sadie in these outfits because so, who wouldn't want that exactly you want to put a face to the name yeah exactly you know? um see how well these actually look in real, in real <laughs> exactly. life because we, we might wanna, be de- we might we, not be describing them we wouldn't want to well. sell you a lie you know? <laughs> <laughs> we will make them exactly as we are describing yeah. <laughs> so anyway um a group outfit inspired by the app that we all have on our phone i use on a regular basis i don't know about you but every day yeah uh google maps no ladies and gentlemen so what you want to do oh and also we thought this one was a good one for halloween because whatever you're doing there's generally a lot of people around it's hard to keep everyone together so it's a good way to not lose your friends yeah you mm. you cannot lose the person with the giant arrow on their head yeah, although it's more of like a rounded... Point. Yeah, yeah. So um, basically, this outfit requires a head garment, let's say, mm-hmm. and then a bit of um, work on a t-shirt or a jumper. Yeah. So for the head garment, you want to get a piece of red card. This is for like the pin. So you know when you know where you're going on the map, it gives like a little yeah. red pin. Um, or, is it, or is the pin there to say you're here? Like this is you. Um, Gee, I can't remember. No, that's the blue dot. The blue dot says this is you. The red pin is where you're going. Right, okay. <laughs> Thanks for <laughs> the clarification. You're welcome. Uh, so, yeah, so you want to get a bit of red card and then measure it to, like, just over the size of your face. So, uh, yeah, so that you can cut it out and actually put it on because if you measured it to the size <laughs> of your face, you wouldn't be able to put it on. <laughs> so, yeah, so cut out the... so make like a head shape band. yeah exactly make your make your rounded point and then make sure that there's enough in the, there's enough like space in the middle of that rounded point for just over your head space mm-hmm. so that it can literally just sit behind your ears on your head and that is the pin um so the next part of the outfit you want to get yourself like 
a grey, a cheap grey t-shirt and you can add some like yellow tape to be the roads of Or even like a yellow map. Pen, oh no, pens wouldn't come out, would they? Well, I mean, if it's like a strong yellow, mm. try it. Mm. But I would try, I would go for yellow, yellow tape. Um, and then in your group as well, you could try and be quite creative and be like a continuation of the map. So me and Sadie were thinking if you knew a really long road, you could be the road. Maybe Fire Street if you were out there. Or Wokey or the, Road. Or the clubs Wokey on road. Fire Street. Yeah, you could be. I don't know how you do that, but. Well, you could be where they are on the map yeah that's that's the point isn't it yeah so anyway so then you get um so with your yellow tape you mark out the okay. road and then if you want to be so and then literally you just write on the yellow tape the road that you are but i was thinking if you wanted to add a bit more to the outfit get a bit more creative because i don't know about you but once i start my diy halloween costume i tend to get a bit take like Carried away. Carried away, not taken away. <laughs> taken like, away, where? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the land of possibility. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so if you wanted to like be a bit more creative, possibly get yourself some green cards, some blue cards. You could add some rivers, some trees. Go wherever you want with it. Yeah. Literally, pun intended, go wherever you want with it. Yeah, I think that's a great one. I think if I was... If you're in geography and you need a group idea shame on you if you don't do this one because this would be perfect yeah that would be good and i also want to say in addition to all of these if you're thinking that's not scary all you've got to do find yourself some fake blood put it on then bob's your uncle you've made it terrifying you're a dead google maps arrow you know <laughs> i think that's all that's all you need sometimes you need that little bit of it or sometimes what i find is that um if you get some eyeshadow and get like dark eyeshadow Ooh. and put it underneath your eyes like literally in like i don't know what you'd call this bit where you'd normally put concealer your under eye, your under eye. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you put like dark eyeshadow there then it makes it helps you to look dead and then maybe even like by your cheekbones contour if you're a guy and you don't have any makeup maybe you, like ask your flatmates and see if they do and they can help you with this because honestly it actually kind of works just g give cool. adds a little bit maybe you know? it's just me but i don't tend to go scary for halloween like one year me and my friend went as another diy halloween costume we went as buzz lightyear and woody from toy story and i literally got a white t-shirt and then spent an afternoon like coloring on buzz's like wow i don't know he doesn't wear an outfit does he because he's a toy but yeah i know what you mean well i mean whatever floats your boat if you and then all my friends had to wear one go scary a checkered shirt and a cowboy hat oh, i feel like she got the better deal to be honest yeah. but who had more fun yeah it sounds like you really <laughs> enjoyed that experience so yes wh whatever whatever floats your boat i think if you're someone who wants to go in a group there might be some ideas here that you can you know join together with someone else or if you would prefer to kind of be an individual you mm. know stand out surprise everyone no one's going to be expecting any yeah. of these you're not going to be any kind of like devil or a witch you know <laughs> we've passed you're going to be a bat you're going to be umbrella a wings exactly or like they might also be listening to this and thinking all of these ideas are terrible i could do a better job if you can like if you think of something we haven't mentioned just pop a picture of it on instagram yourself in that outfit and tag canvas jobs yeah. we'd love to see your ideas let us know that would and be great. things that we should have thought of but didn't that's true yeah. that's true yeah um so to round off so that's the end of all our <laughs> oh i hear you <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of all our diy halloween costumes um the way that we finish the podcast so i mentioned before that we provide helpful career tips mm -hmm. hopefully helpful career tips throughout the series so the way we like to finish the podcast is to say our career tip mm -hmm. this week sadie gets to uh deliver oh wow okay the tip to the listeners. so i i think my tip um i thought about it a little bit i've changed it since i've thought about it a little bit have you i think it would be that regardless of what job you're in speak to as many people as you can because it will do wonders for your confidence i didn't actually realize this but um the difference that it made before uh, i went on placement and after i went on placement and even just having a job now speaking to different people has made me feel more confident in myself and that's showed in other ways so i think that would be my tip do you mean like 
different people in the organization yeah i mean people that come that you serve people that are in the organization just as many people as you can obviously don't literally force yourself on people to talk to them <laughs> but if the opportunity arises sometimes it can be a bit scary you think oh they won't want to speak to me just say hello to as many people as you can it's definitely something i wish i'd done earlier on mm. as well but i just found that once i did it it made me feel a lot more um like i knew what i was doing yeah. and even if even if that's not just in a job role just in life so. that's a that's a good tip and i would Thank say you. as well if if you do that and then you come to apply for another job or like later on down the line or anything mm -hmm. one of the things you can say you have is communication skills because exactly. you've talked to different people at different levels of whatever organization you're working at yep definitely lovely good tip good first tip of the series thank you kick it off strong and uh, i think that's all we have for you today so yep. next week's well next week the next podcast will be on side hustles while you Ooh. study so stay tuned and thank you for i listening. hope we've given you some useful tips please yeah. leave any feedback you have or, but don't be too mean <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, um,